Hello, I'm Dr. John Wolner. I'm a dermatologist in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I'm a member of the American Academy of Dermatology and a longtime volunteer with American Cancer Society. I want to take some time today to talk with you about a very, very important subject that's affecting uh, many people of all ages, but especially young people, and that's skin cancer. Uh, and it is a big deal. Uh, right now because uh, we're beginning to see, we're seeing more and more young Americans uh, develop skin cancer from the, from the ravages of ultraviolet radiation. Uh, teens and young 20-somethings uh, tend to do too much uh, tanning and that's leading to a number of uh, skin problems, specifically skin cancer. There's really two types of uh, ultraviolet rays that come both naturally from the sun and artificially from things such as tanning beds. That's UVA and UVB rays. UVA are the long uh, wavelength uh, light that usually comes from tanning beds and that penetrates deeper in the skin. And UVB is the short wavelength light that usually comes more from the sun and damages the, the surface of the skin. But both of them together lead to uh, sun, skin damage and then ultimately skin cancer. Uh, you can see in uh, this slide uh, pictures of people who are on top who are prematurely aged. That means their skin is kind of leathered and wrinkled from too much uh, ultraviolet uh, radiation. The bottom part of the slide there you can see somebody who's only 17. When you put a special light on them, you can see how much sun damage on the right there, they already have it at the age of 17, specifically lots of uh, freckles. One of the things I really want to emphasize to you is the dangers of tanning beds. Uh, many people in the tanning bed industry will uh, promote it as a, a safe tan. There is no such thing as a safe tan. I cannot emphasize that enough. The only type of safe tan you can get uh, is from a bottle or a spray-on tan. So tanning beds we're seeing more and more are leading to the increased incidence of skin cancer and again including in young people. This is a very serious disease. One in five Americans will develop skin cancer sometime in their lifetime. Uh, when I gave this talk a few years ago it was one in eight. What causes skin cancer? It's overexposure to the sun tanning beds and then family history can play a role so if there's an increased instance of skin cancer in your family you're much more likely to get it. There are three types of skin cancer there's something called basal cell carcinoma, carcinoma is a word for cancer, squamous cell carcinoma and melanoma sometimes referred to as the mole cancer. Basal cell and squamous cell are the most common types of skin cancer and they usually occur on the top layer of skin and it's, it's usually uh, the areas of your body where you get the most sun exposure. So your face, the rest of your head and neck, your upper extremities uh, such as your forearms and arms and then your trunk and legs after that. But usually it's a, it can be a, a, a little bump or growth on the skin. Sometimes it'll scab over and bleed or maybe a little rough scaly patch of skin that you might otherwise think of something like an eczema. Melanoma is potentially the deadliest form of skin cancer. That can occur anywhere on the body, but it's most commonly uh, on, on both sides of your trunk, followed by the lower legs, especially in women, and then the head and neck. And it's usually that's a mole that changes in color or changes in size. One American dies from melanoma almost every hour. It's the second most common cancer in teens and young adults 15 to 29 years old and it's the most common form of cancer for young adults 25 to 29 years old. So it's a very, very serious problem. Anyone can develop melanoma. Uh, if you're a redhead and fair-complected, your risk of developing a melanoma is seven times greater than a dark-haired person. But even dark-skinned dark people are at risk uh, as well. Melanoma can be cured if you can catch it uh, early enough. But once it spreads to other parts of your body, such as the lymph glands, uh, the survival rate decreases very, very significantly. What does melanoma look like? It's really the A, B, C, D, and E's of any given mole or a, a spot or growth on your skin. A stands for asymmetry. 
So if, it, if on one side you have a, a bump that makes it look irregular, that can be worrisome. B stands for border, and the outside of a normal mole usually looks nice and smooth and crisp, whereas the border of a melanoma will be kind of chopped up and irregular. C stands for color, so dark brown, dark black, or various shades of blue, red, brown, and black colors are definitely warning signs. D is diameter. We usually say anything greater than the head of a pencil uh, eraser uh, may make you uh, worried about the development of melanoma. And then E stands for evolving, and that st stands for change. So if the, if the mole is increasing in size and getting larger and larger. The best way to cure melanoma is to detect it early. The most excellent way of doing that, and since the skin is your largest organ in your body and the most visible to you, you can do a self-skin exam by yourself where you look at your chest, your back, arms, legs, neck, as much as your scalp you can see, and don't forget to look at your feet. Many people forget that, your, that the feet are cover, is covered by skin, so you need to, to look at your feet uh, as well. And that's early detection. The other thing that's so critical is to protect yourself. Sunglasses, hats, and especially sunscreen. Sunscreen is a lotion that you can put on your skin that will block out most of the sun. So usually we recommend uh, that people use a SPF or sun protection factor of at least 30 or more. And if you're being very active, uh, physically, like swimming, running, that you wear something that's water resistant or waterproof, and then reapply it frequently. Uh, many young people at the, are being diagnosed at a much younger age uh, with melanoma. Here is a patient who had to have uh, surgery. There on the left, there's a, the surgical site, and then on the right is where they had to check for some lymph glands. Uh, this is a testimonial from uh, a young woman uh, who start using tanning beds regularly as a teenager uh, and only stop when she's diagnosed with melanoma uh, at the age of 20. So young people do get this cancer and it's potentially deadly if not spotted in time. So I hope that this uh, gives you a, a good brief overview of the dangers of the sun and it stresses to you the importance of knowing that skin cancer can occur even at young ages. And it becomes critical that you do early detection where you look at yourself and then you prevent any sun damage by wearing sunscreens, hats, being, also being careful of the, the time of day. Between the hours 11 and 3 is when the sun is most directly overhead and most intense, and that's when it does its most damage. And then remember, a cloudy day, up to 80% of the sun still gets through the clouds and can harm your skin. If you're swimming or skiing where you're around snow, or water where the sun gets reflected, you have to be extra careful in those situations. If you can do, do all these things, you can still enjoy the outdoors and have a great deal of fun and still live a healthy life. Thank you.